You guys know that I will always appreciate budget mechs, so this is one way to mod your keyboard without spending much at all, and is of course the sticker bomb mod. This isn't anything new and is done with many personal items. One that I've always remembered is KB Warriors HHKB on Instagram, so I did some quick research and came across this comment which I loosely followed. If you don't have a collection of stickers, you can buy sticker bomb packs from anywhere really for a few bucks. But to celebrate 20 years of One Piece and my love for it, I bought this packet of 60 stickers for 4 bucks. And I mean it doesn't need to be a budget mech, but the one I'll use is the GK61 which is a 60%. The bezels are pretty thin so we won't get to see much of it from up top, and that's why I think the HHKB is great for this with more surface area. And to be clear this is the very first time I'm doing this, so I don't really know what I'm doing, and therefore isn't really a tutorial, I'm just showing what I did. First thing is to disassemble the keyboard. I guess it isn't completely necessary, but it makes things much easier. For 60% keyboards, they're super easy to take apart, but for larger boards, it may involve a bit more, and will probably avoid a warranty. I disassemble most keyboards I review, so you can get a better idea from those videos. Alright, so let's get started. So again, I don't really know what I was doing, and I didn't really have a plan in my head, but I did read up and I did watch a few videos on how to stick a bomb. But the thought process is that the stuff that you stick first will obviously be below and kind of covered by other stickers. So what I wanted to do was kind of get rid of the kind of secondary characters, like not the main characters, and then put the main characters over them. So, you know, that makes sense. So here I have Doflamingo, and yeah, this is just another villain in the series, and I just stuck that on there. I didn't really know what I was doing, but yeah. And basically what I'm going to do is space out these secondary characters, and then you'll see like there's gaps between them, and what I want to do is then put the big characters over those. So I'll put down, who's that kid? Is an, he's a big character, but not as prominent yet. And then, oh, Kuma as well. So the thing with these stickers is that I did buy them a while ago, but the the characters in these are kind of, kind of a bit back, so they're not as current at the moment. So we got Rayleigh as well. And that was over the USB hole, so I have to cut that hole later. And yeah, you can see these gaps that I'm forming. And who do we have here? We have... Sabo. Another, he's a pretty big character as well. And yeah, I'm just kind of sticking it down. And I, I want to show their faces as well, so the thing that you'll see later is that lifting of the stickers is really a big problem with this, because, yeah, you know, the stickers will lift over time as they lose the stickiness. And since I do want to show the faces, I couldn't go over the edge too much and that does become a problem later on. And yeah, we got um, Kazaru on the back as well, so mixing it up a bit with a Marine Admiral. And who do we have next? Yeah, so I kind of went off frame over here, so that's pretty bad of me. It's an always annoying when I do that. Yeah, very annoying. And here I have the One Piece logos, so I have a few, there's like two One Piece logos in this set, so I wanted one to be prominent on the back, and then I'll later have one on the bottom. And this is just like a kind of white and black logo, and yeah, I'll just, see, like, you're always going to cover some stickers, so don't be too disappointed when you do cover them. So I basically just covered Kazara's face over there, so yeah, just look at that. And that's the back of it, by the way. And yeah, it looks pretty good. Um, on the guide it did say like the stickers with thick white borders don't really look good. I couldn't be bothered to cut them out so I do have the thick white borders still on. And yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Okay, so one of the biggest problems with this is of course the corners. Like 
This isn't stretchy material, like vinyl, you can heat it up and stretch it over. So you're going to have to make some cuts or folds or whatever to make it fit around corners. And yeah, again, I didn't know what I was doing. So as you can see, I was just making some random cuts to try and make this thicker fit. And yeah, it didn't turn out the best, but you'll see it, it turned out okay. Like as you can see, so that's white beard, by the way. And it, it doesn't look too bad. And that's the thing about um, sticker bomb. You can kind of do this random stuff. And because it's so chaotic, it it's okay if you have mistakes. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad, in my opinion. And that's just a bit more of the back. Oh, there's a group photo as well that I missed. Yeah, not, not too bad. Not too bad. So we'll just have a closer view of this corner. So we have Jinbei here, another big character. And like, as you can see, you just can't fit it around properly. Obviously, it's just like a piece of paper. You, you're going to have to make some cuts. So again, uh, also with the cuts, I didn't really know where to do the cuts. I just, as you can see, there was a fold there and I just cut straight through it. And um, yeah, I just kind of cut and then try to make it fit somehow and yeah as you can see it isn't too bad actually it does look kind of bad but when it's done it looks okay and that's the thing like if i did it again i would do the corners first and um yeah i'll do the corners first and then you can kind of cover up the edge of it with other stickers as well but the corners itself will always be a bit messy but yeah let's have a closer look at this it's not bad that's the whole back finished the whole back sorry and it looks pretty good in my opinion especially from a distance in real life it's a bit of a different story but yeah and then yeah the rest of it so same concept as the whole um, as the whole back of it so I'm just kind of spreading around the main the main characters and the secondary characters and trying to just get an even sort of distribution and yeah like I didn't have many characters to play with and some pretty outdated characters that I didn't want to stick on so I, I left some of those out and so I had 60 stickers so I don't know how many I use, maybe half of them, and that's for a 60%. So you can probably get away with 50 sticker packs or whatever. But if you have a hundred stickers, you'll easily cover whatever size keyboard, I think. And we have Shanks here on the front and his mate Hawkeyes right next to him. You've got X Admiral. And then yeah, so on the front we have what do we have? Blackbeard there, and I put on Usopp as well, which is another big character. And then you have to have Luffy on the front as well. I actually put two Luffys here. So, yeah, you do need Luffy on the front, because that's what you see. And then I, I kind of did plan out the back a little bit, since it was a bit easier. You can just lay them out. So we got Sunny, we got Garp over there, we got Ace. And yeah, just sticking them all around. <laughs> Akainu right on top of Ace, which is pretty good. If you watch the series, you'd know. Yep, just sticking on more of the members, so Nami, Sanji. Got Luffy, and of course we want that. Well, I did want that big One Piece logo in the middle. And I had to kind of put Zoro sideways there, just to cover up the gaps. Then you got the big Luffy, and then that final piece, the One Piece, right in the middle which looks pretty good and yeah you can see all these spare stickers i have around i didn't i didn't duplicate anyone except for i think chopper luffy maybe zoro i think but yeah that's it
At first, I chucked on these dark grey keycaps on because I didn't have any blank black keycaps, which I personally feel would have been a nice look. Basically, I don't want the keycaps to take away from the stickers because that's the attraction of the whole thing, and I feel that the stock keycaps did exactly that. But the contrast wasn't great enough, and you know, I'm in a hurry and all, so I quickly looked for some local caps at night time, and found these blank blue gradient caps from a mate, which were perfect, and they fit the theme of the sky and water amazingly well. And here it is all done. It's by far one of the more striking aesthetic mods that you can do to a mechanical keyboard. I know it's not for everyone, it's chaotic and just not the clean aesthetic that a lot of people like to go to, but you need a bit of chaos and it's just great to have in the collection. But more importantly, it only cost 4 bucks, and that's the lowly Australian version of bucks. I did spend a bit more for the keycaps, but obviously that isn't necessary. But yeah, it really worked out well and I'm super happy I was able to get these caps. Even with the colour, it doesn't really distract from the stickers because they're just blank. And yeah, the stickers. So like I was saying before, I tried to somewhat evenly spread the types of characters around the board. So like kind of the bigger characters went over the not as important ones. And of course the actual Straw Hat crew had some prime real estate. So we have Luffy and Usopp on the front, Robin on the right, Jinbei, Brook, and Chopper on the left. The back is a little different, but we have a group shot and the One Piece logo. And then on the bottom we have Sanji, Nami, Zoro, and Frankie, who's a bit covered there, and a big Luffy in the middle, and that rounds off the crew. Everyone loves Law, so you have him on top of the Sunny. And yeah, I tried to make those characters and items a bit more prominent. It's hard to show off everything really, but I felt I spread it out nicely enough. I even managed to get a marine on the back on top of his old mate here. So the main issue with this is the stickers lifting. The clear coat doesn't really keep it down, it's just protection. The main thing is to overlap the edges quite heavily, so don't have the stickers only just go over the edge. But sometimes you just have to do that, so I had to use some super glue to keep them down. The corners are horrendous as well, and is tough to avoid, but again, that's the great thing about sticker bombing, is that a lot of the mistakes are just camouflaged, so I wouldn't worry too much. 20 years is a long time, and that shows how great of a story One Piece is, and the depths that it has and will go to. If you're a fan of One Piece, I hope that you live long enough to see the end of it, and I pray that for all of us, Oda makes it as well. Congrats on 20 years.